Lawrence here on Fox 47. It's time for the big picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, visit deantransportation.com slash jobs. That's deantransportation.com slash jobs. That's Fox 47, Lansing. Jim, uh, schedule-wise, non-conference, group of five are the only opponents this year, I believe, next year as well. And then Oklahoma and Texas come on board. Is there going to be more of a, a surge to getting more uh, Power Five conference as opposed to the group of five? I don't know. What goes in decision making on that? How we played Power Five in the non conference, we played Notre Dame, Washington, we played Group of Five in the non conference. I don't, I'm answering your question. I don't know if there'll be more of a, how did you put it? Power Five. You know, when more Power Five. Yeah, 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 where you get, where you get a Texas and Oklahoma coming to Ann Arbor. I think I'm, I'm getting feedback from Michigan fans that they wish. There was more of those teams coming to Ann Arbor as opposed to the Colorado State's and Hawaii's and the Yukons. So I just want to encourage you to share that feedback at some point with Ward Manuel and you guys can discuss it. <laughs> if Jim Harbaugh is trying to say that he has no input into Michigan's non-conference schedule, what a crock of crap. Uh, Tom, congratulations on a great question Tuesday, uh, went viral, and on a better follow-up when a lot of people would have wilted. Can you elaborate on an excellent point about uh, September, and why would anyone criticize you for daring to question a uh, Teflon head coach? Well, I mean, I got the Lloyd Carr stare down, as you did multiple times. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, Jim Harbaugh is nothing compared to Lloyd Carr, but in that regard. But I, I would just ask him, I always feel like the media, Jack and Cody, is a liaison from the fans to the coaches and the players. Right. Because you're, 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 you're given access they don't have. They, the they want to know. Yeah, exactly. And you need to find those answers out. I mean, you've got high-paying donors that are paying you know, royalty fees to get tickets and all this stuff. And you're in, in that, you know, next year you got UNLV and, and, and Bowling Green, you know, coming to town, East Carolina. And, you know, it's it's not fair to the, with these high costs of fans. That's all I was asking. I was hoping there's a trend going back to the Power Fives. There's not a Power Five playing in Ann Arbor as it sits right now until 2026 as far as non-conference. That's unfair to Michigan fans. And it's it's they're not doing themselves any good. How do you prepare for Big Ten play? Michigan's first game in 2022, the opener at yeah. Iowa. That's the opener. Wow. All right, Tom, let's take a look at U of M's September schedule, a non-conference games and a one Big Ten game, all in Ann Arbor. Uh, is uh, the Wolverine program sponsored by Charmin? <laughs> you know, ESPN, you know, ESPN, I guess, grabbed that bite on. They were talking about it on their website. And then I mean, maybe that queued them up. I mean, they just cited that Michigan has the weakest Power Five schedule in the country. Okay, so I mean that's embarrassing. You're coming off a Big Ten title and a CFP, and how are you going to ex get exposed, if you will? How yeah. do you how do you learn how to what to clean up before you go to Kinnick Stadium? And you know what it's like there. Yeah. Uh, in that in that first real game on October first. Well, if they're undefeated when they go to Columbus and lose that game, might be tough for them to get into exactly. the college football playoff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Cody, uh, the U of M football team took another of its summer tours, uh, this time around the state of Michigan. Uh, there you see a few shots of them enjoying uh, what the state has to offer. What do trips like that do? And are they just another way that the haves and have-nots are separated in 2022. Yeah, not every program can, you know, finance something like that. And you, we've seen Michigan under uh, Jim Harbaugh do this for a number of years now. I think it's pretty cool. They stayed in state and traveled around 
all the different places you can go in the state of Michigan and see in the summertime. But I think it's great. Obviously, you're, you're going to see where a program's taking their whole team more of a, a power five level with those kind of financial resources. But I think it's all it's a great opportunity for the kids that may never be able to see those places or go on a trip for that duration. Um, and even though you might want to take some downtime, you know, that bonding as a staff and as a team is really invaluable right before you're heading into fall camp. Tom, I want to take a look at a few of the future trips that Jim Harbaugh should consider. Some people have said, uh, why not go off the mainland and, and <laughs> check out Alaska and Hawaii and you get to Hawaii one way or the other. Southern California, uh, you've got UCLA and USC coming in eventually. That might be a scouting trip and get a look at the Rose Bowl. Tuscaloosa and Athens are two places that we know Michigan won't be playing, but might be good. Uh, the winning locker room at Ohio State might be a place that he would want to be. Uh, what would you like to see the Wolverines do besides beat the Spartans? <laughs> Uh, take on those challenges. Like, this goes back to the scheduling thing, which is really a bugaboo with me. You know, go down and play an SEC. Uh, try to arrange a home and home and, 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 and in that hostile environment. I mean, uh, that's how you learn what you're all about. All right. We will be back. We're going to take a look at the Big Ten, at the MAC, and at the national picture. Coming up next on Press Pass.